Good morning, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. Um, basically what I'm doing today is I'm fitting a fireplace in this opening upstairs in somebody's bedroom. Um, I, I'm not sure if I did a video on what was um, what was the issues with this chimney, but basically what it was at the beginning when I first came, there was a massive damp patch right up there. And um, when we took it all out, when we took it all out, but when I took it all out, should I say, uh, took the boarding off, and there was a little like little air vent at the bottom. It was absolutely full full up with bird's nest material. Absolutely, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't believe how much. I mean, if you go on my Facebook page, you'll probably you'll see it. But I'm pretty certain I did a video on it. I'm not too sure. I can't remember now. Um, so, but um, I suggested to the customer it'd probably be an idea to have a. Uh, they're not going to use this, so um, it's going to be a disused fire, uh, fireplace. But it'd be nice to have a feature in this room. So um, they, they went out and they bought this. And this one here, it cost them, they said, 60 quid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into this. But at the moment, um, it's, it's about that uh, in, in length at the back, so that that's how deep it goes in so I've got to take some of this rubble out out so basically this is like so I've got to basically take it up take us take the rubble right up to about here all the way down so it can sit in there nicely then um, what I'm going to do is like because um, there's a hole at the top and I think it's going to be obviously too low so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a couple of holes on either side here on, on either side and then I'm going to um, uh, then drill and screw it into position so obviously it's, it's safe and secure but it's not going to be used so it's going to sit on top of the carpet and it's just a feature in the room I've already capped the chimneys off capped this one off and I think I put bird gold on the other one I'm pretty certain of it but yeah so it's, it's, if it's not on my YouTube channel uh, the bird's nest it was a humongous bird's nest that I removed so like basically, so they, this this fireplace can be a disused fireplace. So it literally it's just going to sit on top of the carpet uh, and backfill the sides and everything, and and then just like um, leave it as a disused uh, fireplace. But it'd be instead of having a board here, it'd be nice to have a feature in the room. So uh, that is the plan. So um, the first part of the um, uh, stage one, as you could call it, is to remove. Uh, not all the bricks but most of them and remove that cement there where my finger there remove the cement there and uh, make sure that depth clearance is that length at the back so which uh, then that will go into position and then I can drill and screw it to the sides they're having a plaster come out and just to tidy up around the edges and everything I, I can plaster but I haven't done it for, for a long time so um, it was better to, to get the professionals out to do stuff like that so there's a little bit of the newspaper there. Rest in. I wonder if I'd be able to open that up and find out how old it is. I think this is a 1950s property. Basically what I've done is I've gone right back to the builder's recess. You can always tell the builder's recess because there's a brick screw opening. And lots of loose rubble as you just saw. Uh, it all came off quite easy. There it is. It's all down there. All down the side there. That's what's come off. So um, what I'm going to do now, I've left a little bit of stuff at the bottom because if you look at where the carpet is, it's a bit higher. So obviously um, I'm probably going to have to put a couple of bit, bit, of, bit of rubble on the bottom there just to keep it in place. And um, so there's no point you know, taking, getting rid of that stuff there. Plus it's, 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 it's a useful way of getting rid of it at the same time. So if you ever put a fireplace in, uh, obviously you have to remember this one is not going to be used so um, so that it, that you can do it differently to if basically if I was going to put a used one in there I'd have to put a half in position and uh, and then I would have to sort of level that all up in there properly but it's going to be drilled and screwed into the, the sides and everything so the next part I'm just going to finish my cup of tea which is always cool from from the customer, nice cup of tea. So I've finished that, and then I'll get on to stage three. And um, my plan is, put, I've put it on the other side now, is put this, this fireplace into position, and then um, see what we need to do to adjust it, make sure it's all right and looking good up there, 
and then um, and then yeah and then drilling drill, as I said I'm going to drill some more holes on the side here probably going to put one here and one there and one there and then one down there on either side so it's really you know properly well in there uh, so it's not going to move obviously it's going to be as you can see it's going to be slightly to the right um, and the reason being is um, if you can imagine they've got a fireplace downstairs so that that area that's why if you ever look at fireplaces that's why the the one upstairs is not center on the stack and the one downstairs is and that's why there's a bend straight away if you look at the one downstairs it'll be center and they do they do in the, the big victorian houses i've done a lot on like on brunswick square in brighton and, and they're like 60 foot plus chimneys but their lounges were, were always on the first floor where they used to entertain the guests so that would always be the the the, uh, the focal point so it'd always be the, the where the folk the lounge would be it always would be in um in the middle uh, and this one is, is uh, obviously is a bedroom one, so you've got the the, the, the actual chimney for the bed from downstairs is on this side here, so it goes down and then it will bend underneath this one, and then down and they'll go into a central position. So that's what I wasn't going to take it all out, but it, to be fair, that, that it was pretty loose um, and it came out quite easy. So you know, like um, so, and it's not much. You know, at least it gives me a bit of play with it, and plus I can put some of this, put some of this back in there, without having to get rid of it. So, um, kill two birds with one stone. Well, I've just put it in, and um, it doesn't fit in properly. It only go that far in. Um, just looking at why that is the problem. Just down the side here. These little brackets, and you see that they're just sticking out the way. So I've just got to just trim them off. On that side and on that side can you see the way the shape of it because we want it flush against that brickwork so um, I've just got to knock that bit out and then we should be sorted all right so um, it's nearly there just a bit more I didn't expect it to be an easy one so um, don't ever expect them to be easy to be fair but yeah that's uh, just going to trim it off now yeah it's not fitting in it's a bit wider the actual fireplace on the sides there what i've pointed out to you is if you can see there's a if we look down it's probably better you can see it sticks out up, along down the side so what i'm gonna have to do is get my bad boy out and here it is get this out and then just trim it along the side Good old D-Waltz, you can't go wrong with them. So um, yeah, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, I started doing it with a hammer and bolster, but I'll be here all day doing it. I think they're engineering bricks, and they are odd as nails. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go as straightforward, to be fair. Sometimes they do, Some I've done for fireplaces, they've taken me, like, like by the time the, the customer, especially the insects, in the old days when they didn't need liners, everything needed liners and stuff like that. Um, the, uh, I could do an inset before the customers made a cup of tea, put it in. It's incredible, but um, like nowadays, it's a, everything's all changed. Rules and rules and rules. They keep adding more rules. They think that's progress, don't they? And no, if it's something works fine, then don't add more rules to it. Because we all know why you do that. You just want more money out of the customers. It's like all these new stoves last year they were good now this year they're bad and you've got to have different ones at the end of the day i always look at it it's like you can still burn the crappy fuel in it and isn't that what pollutes the atmosphere so uh, but uh, i'm not going to have a rant <laughs> but yeah basically what i'm going to do is trim this off around the side here right up to here marks it sort of down here you see that when uh, they've done it on this side so if you ever open it up um, the builders recess and you and you see that a lot of it's been trimmed just on the edges you'll understand why that obviously their fireplace what the original fireplace didn't fit into the builders recess as it should do so let's have a bash and that's it that's what it looks like finished 
basically I'm just gonna screed the bottom there in a minute but I thought I'd just let you see it as it is um, it's gonna be plastered up I've left it out a little bit so that the plaster just around the side there's a little bit of a gap there because it's obviously um, when the plaster comes round plasters that bit you don't want it sort of going over spilling onto that so um, basically um, that's how I've done it I've left a little bit like a quarter of an inch gap so or half inch gap no quarter of an inch gap on either side so uh, when the plasters it's going to be the same level same uh, depth should I say as the um, the original plaster so it looked really well got really blended in well and um, the customer's still got the skirting boards going to put them back on and um, and then that's it it's basically remember this is just for like a just for just for um, not being used but just as a feature in the room and um, it's been hard work to be honest with you that side that there are like engineering bricks on that side and trimming that off to get it to flush just how, how I wanted it um, and the customer wanted it higher so that was a bit of a challenge as well but to manage to do that get that sorted out and the customer wanted the tray to come out um, and in um, so that that was a bit of a challenge especially on my own if, I, if I'd have known that I would have um, Brought my son with me to help me but it's all level and straight and look in the business so that's it um that's what they what we have done today well that's what i've done today so um if you ever want to know how to fit a fireplace um uh, that's how you do it and um i've got another job coming uh, to do a proper fireplace and i'll show you how that um, you backfill it and um, do all the other bits uh as well so um this one was just one just to to show you how to, to fit a, a sort of a decorative fireplace in in one of your bedrooms if you wanted to open up one of your chimneys it's normally straightforward but um when i thought it was going to be straightforward obviously that's where it went all downhill but um and that's it just screeded the bottom underneath there so that this because the customer wanted it screeded uh, so this can go level in there because We've ri rose it, risen it up a bit, and um, that's it. It is all done. Next stage is the plaster, and then um, I've actually put a, a level on the side, and it is banging, absolutely banging. That is it. That is how to fit a fireplace, one that you're not going to be using, but just as, as a decorative piece in, in the in your house. And uh, once it's uh, always a good idea to leave a bit of a gap at the back here when you're putting when you're screwing it into position. Obviously, these aren't really designed to have anything uh, around them, like uh, surrounds and stuff like that. So what I've done is I've I've made it the, the gaps the same width depth as the uh, plaster. So when he plasters it up, we can go, go behind it, which will give it a bond as well, and it'll be a nice finish down the, the round the sides here. It should be perfect right the way round. It'll actually all look like it's all been, it's been there for years. That's what it looked like. It's 1930s, these properties. So yeah, as you can see, I can get my finger behind there. And then it just means that the plaster will be able to trail that up like that. Uh, put a bit of beading across the top there. But um, as it is now, if the customer ever wants to convert it into an open fire, literally all we've got to be thinking about is a half out the front here obviously change the cowl that i've put up there because i've put a, a, a blanker cap on a capper strap strap i think uh, brewer cows calls them but he's got like a, a throat plate up here you can hear it and that's the front so all we'd have to do is backfill it with other uh vermiculite or something along them lines anything fire resistant you don't want to put bricks behind them um it's not too bad with these types of appliances but if it was like a back sea or or something that's got like a it has to use uh, vermiculite boarding and stuff like that then you you wouldn't want to put bricks in the back of it so that's that that's how they crack so they put a load of bricks in the back and of course if you've got like a uh, you're throwing stuff on there to keep it going that's how they crack but that's it all done for the customer and he's very very happy with it which at the end of the day that's what it's all about it's not about whether i feel i've done a good job or not it's whether the customer is happy and satisfied, which is extremely happy and satisfied with the work. Because now, instead of having a, a square rectangle shaped chimney stack with just an air vent on the side in his bedroom, he's got a nice uh, 
fireplace. So he's got a nice feature in his pro in his in his bedroom now. Um, but instead of having a, a blank wall with a vent on it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed these uh, this video today, and have a great weekend from Zachary Sweet.